When a child has pain in the ear, it's usually from fluid putting pressure yeah. on the tympanic membrane or the eardrum. Uh -huh. And the eardrum is sealed off, and unless it bursts, that fluid can't get out, and, and you don't so want sensitive. that to happen. Yeah, it's so, so it's, a, it's a, but it's supposed to drain naturally back down through what's called the eustachian tube. Uh -huh. But if that eustachian tube gets swollen and inflamed because of allergies, uh, other kinds of uh, inflammatory reactions, then that fluid gets trapped, and it's got nowhere to go. Okay. And when that, once that fluid is there, it's a nice, warm, wet place for uh -huh. bacteria and viruses to grow. Uh -huh. And they just love it. So if we can keep that fluid away, okay. keep the fluid drained, then there's no place for that bacteria and virus to grow. So you're saying if the eustachian tube is swollen, then the fluid stays up here in the ear. Exactly. Now, the eustachian tube connects the middle ear, correct me if I'm wrong, mm -hmm. the middle ear where it gets infected to the back of the throat. Exactly. Right. And in children, young children, that eustachian tube is more flat. Okay. And so it doesn't drain real easily. Okay. As we grow, the eustachian tube becomes more vertical, oh. so it drains more easily. Now, okay, I get that, but the scientists have, have found bacteria in that ear effluent stuff. Mm -hmm. There's bacteria in there. Why wouldn't you want to treat it with antibiotics? Well, you know, the, the throat's not a real clean place. Oh, the okay. mouth, we okay. have lots of bacteria okay. in that region. So it's not uh, surprising. If a child lies on their back and takes a bottle, okay. a lot of that fluid is going to go wash up into the eustachian tube, uh, and the bacteria is going to wash up there with it. So, so, so are you saying that it's kind of a mechanical problem or an anatomical thing that ends in a bacterial infection, and if we intervene sooner or in a different way, we won't need to use the antibiotic? Exactly, okay. Richard. Exactly. Okay. And, you know, you and I are fortunate because we went to osteopathic medical yes. schools. It gave us a different perspective. It did. It taught us how to use our hands. It taught us how to look at things a little bit differently. Uh -huh. And the concept, the philosophy of osteopathy is the body has a, an ability to heal itself right. if mm -hmm. we give it what it needs, take yeah. away what it doesn't need. If they're in a lot of pain, um, there's probably fluid there. And okay. you can go to the doctor, and most pediatricians have what's called a tympanogram, which is a okay. device that you, they uh, put in the ear that measures whether there's fluid. Okay. But there's also a home t tympanogram available. Okay. And I think it's just the greatest thing because it's called an ear check. And what it does, the graphics up. Yeah, the parent the can actually uh -huh. um, put this in their child's ear. Well, that just looks like the thermometer that you do in the ear, exactly. only it's bigger. Yeah, but it actually measures the fluid. You want to see so if I have any fluid? Yeah. So, so, all right, here we go. So, tell us again the purpose of this. <laughs> we'll see if I have any Doctor, fluid what? in my ear. You do have a little bit. You know, when I do, she does. She I have allergies, and I'm kind of, yeah. I do. So what so does this do? Quick, Help me understand again. What's it, it do now? It measures the, I, the pressure. So it gives you an indication oh. that there's fluid behind that eardrum. And if there's fluid behind the eardrum, down the road, there's most likely going to be an infection because okay. that's, as we it mentioned earlier. It can't drain. It's building up, exactly. and it just starts festering. Exactly. Okay. Now, you've given us an alternative way to approach this, but really, what is wrong mm -hmm. with taking an antibiotic? I know we covered that, mm -hmm. but this is so important. What can go wrong with that? Well, there's a lot of reasons why we shouldn't be giving antibiotics to children for ear infections. First of all, the medical literature has published for years. I mean, at least 15 or more years ago, mm -hmm. I found two articles that showed that the sooner you give an antibiotic for an ear infection, mm -hmm. the longer they'll last and the more recurrences you'll have. That's what the oh. medical literature indicates. And you know what? It makes sense to me. Think about it. Okay. If our body is, can heal itself, but we and our immune system is learned, we have to actually get sick in order to have a really strong immune system. Yeah, got to be exposed to something. Yeah, right. I mean, and so if you give an antibiotic mm -hmm. the instant somebody gets sick, then their body never learns how to handle that. Okay. You let the antibiotic handle right. it. Okay, we've got fluid in the ear. So now our good doctors have come up with another treatment. Let's just put a tube in that ear. Uh, you know, right. it's going to drain That's it. What we hear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is yeah. that the way yeah. to go? I don't believe it is. And okay. this is the reason. First of all, it puts a hole in the child's ear. Yeah, that's and, not good. Uh, and the, the concept is if we put the tube in the ear, the fluid will drain out. Yes. But that's not how the fluid is supposed to drain out. It's supposed to drain down Inside. the eustachian tube. Yeah. 
uh, putting a hole in the ear, think about it. You know, uh, women who have a pierced ear, when they keep that earring in there, it mm -hmm. creates a permanent mm -hmm. hole. Mm -hmm. And sometimes children do end up with a permanent hole in their ear. If the tube is in there a long time, they can also develop scarring. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. if that scarring occurs, they uh, can have permanent hearing loss. Fluid. The fluid is mm -hmm. not an infection at that right. stage, right? Exactly. Yeah. So just because we have fluid behind the ear, we don't rush and give antibiotics. We need to do the treatment you're about to show us exactly now, to release the fluid. Um, what about the child who has been the typical route? They've had, you know, 12 mm -hmm. rounds of antibiotics in three years for these. Are there other things you'd want to fix or buff up mm -hmm. or help yeah. correct in that kid? I, I can't tell you how many children I've seen that Next week, they were getting put, tubes put in their ears, yes. right. and we were able to cancel that surgery because in literally oh, one week, wow. we got resolution of their ear problems. In okay. one week? Yes. Okay. How, How would you do that? I thought it's, it's a multifaceted program, but it's okay. basically, first of all, we're moving all the dairy 100%. Okay. Secondly, I teach the parents how to do a very gentle osteopathic manipulation. So this isn't popping it's the neck? No and, popping no, and cracking. It's no, gentle. it's okay. very gentle, almost like a massage. Yeah. Okay. Kids love it. And it drains the fluid from the ears. Oh. And I do a regular tympanogram and then I go and do this massage, go back into the tympanogram, uh -huh. and most of the time you can already see that quickly, five okay. minutes, really? you can see the fluid starting to drain. Well, is the, the instruction ear. on how to do this yeah, massage how do we, how do we on this video? This? It is. It's in the Treat Ear and Respiratory Infections Without Antibiotics video. So this Good. is uh, such that a problem that you've worked it. on. You've really worked on this for years to perfect this method. Tell okay. us what you have to mm -hmm. help the folks at home because I know this can help a lot of families. The video uh, goes okay. into a lot of details about the, the studies okay. and the research. Okay. And then it shows them... This, this is a video? This is a video. Okay, it shows ahead. them how to do the massage at home. Okay. And uh, so... A lot of times the parents can even choose not to even see the physician because if they do this quick enough, the resolution occurs before they even get to the doctor. So we okay. open up the eustachian tubes and we drain out that fluid so no infection can set in. And in, in addition to draining the fluids, this type of lymphatic treatment mm -hmm. has been shown in osteopathic research to actually improve the immune system's functioning. Oh, that's okay. wonderful. And so yeah. I, in, when I first started practicing was still kind of cautious about sure. not giving an antibiotic for an ear infa infection. I'd see a child with this blazing red right. ear infection, mm -hmm. high fever, right. and I'd give them the antibiotic, but I said, don't fill it until you've done this treatment twice. Yeah. Oh, at okay. home, and I oh. never had anybody fill that antibiotic. Is that right? Well, Good. let me get this straight. You're, does anything else come with this, or how do you offer this? Yes, it I comes with understand. a little booklet, too, that gives some of the information okay. and, and a visual of how to do the treatment. And then the ear check, which is the home tympanogram system. So you system. can tell your progress. Yes. So Perfect. first of all, you can see if you need to do the treatment, uh -huh. and then you can follow your progress and see, is my massage... OMT, is it working well? Okay. Do I need to do it more often okay. or has the treatment worked? And is your website blockcenter.com? Correct. Yeah, I remembered it from okay. last time. Blockcenter.com. <laughs> this is a great way to help the kid get through that and on to right. a healthy life. The other thing I want to mention is osteopathic manipulation like this can be really beneficial during the flu season. Okay. Back in the early 1900s when we had the terrible swine flu epidemic right. where literally right. millions died throughout the world. Mm -hmm. Patients who had osteopathic physicians uh -huh. who did uh, manipulation on them survived in much greater numbers than That's those. That's been recorded. That's yes, true. that was the first Absolutely. osteopathic research. So, wow. if anybody you know is worried they didn't get their flu vaccine this year, mm -hmm. um, we can actually use this treatment preventatively That's too wonderful. to keep the immune wonderful. system going That's well. Exciting. Boy, this is a good idea, folks. If if your family mm -hmm. is struggling with earaches and the little ones. I'd get a copy of this and put these principles to work.